All right. Our next one. Okay. This is a fun one. And I think we're both going to have um, a lot to say here. And I think we're, we're both going to say the exact same thing. This next prospect is Chase DeLotter. Chase DeLotter is six foot four, 235 pounds. He's 22 years old. He was drafted by the Cleveland Guardians in round one, pick 16 overall, college James Madison. This year, he had uh, three different affiliates, rookie level, high A, and double A. Uh, I'm going to lump them all together. He had 214 at bats, 355 average, on base, plus, or on base, 417, slugged 528, on base plus slugging 945, five home runs, six stolen bases, 22 doubles, 30 strikeouts, 23 walks. I think it, I, I'm, I'm going to come out and I'm just going to say what we're both thinking. When he's healthy, he's a top 10 prospect. He's going to be a freaking monster if he's not hurt. I, I think that that foot is a problem because it's been broke twice. If I if I'm recalling that correctly, he broke his foot twice, which is not a good sign. God, if Ross, I'm telling you, if if he stays healthy, he's a top ten prospect. Boy, that's some some very bold statements from you. And I like I'm not I'm not totally off. I'm I'm not on a different page with you. I don't think either. He's a hitting machine. There's no doubt about it. Um, you know, we talked about Nolan Shanuel the other day, and there's there's some similarities from his college days uh, with Shanuel. So we're seeing something kind of like that, and he's clearly, you're right, when healthy, he's he's a hitter. He sprays the ball all over the field. He's got some pretty good power. Uh, he's got some speed. You know, he, he does have some helium surrounding him. But he's somebody I would be interested. Definitely a go get him, but the price might be where the sticking point is. I don't think he's billed so highly that he's going to be totally unaffordable. So that's why I think he's he's somebody you want you want to target for sure. Do you have his James Madison stats in front of you? I do. Was yeah. he was he a monster in college? He was, yeah. I mean, that's where the the Shanuel sort of mm -hmm. comp was coming from. Because I mean, smaller school at James Madison. I'll give you the rundown of his career numbers and then his final season, because they're both very nice. His slash overall for his career was a four hundred two batting average, five twenty on base percentage, and a seven fifteen slugging percentage. Not huge, like not huge home run totals or anything like that. Um, and you know, we're, we're looking at looks like his first couple of years, he had seven home runs and then he, he finished his, his third season with eight. So not huge numbers there, not huge stolen base numbers, but they're all serviceable, you know, and his final season, he hit, he slashed 437, 576, 828. So 1404 OPS, more walks than strikeouts, everything that you want. I mean, all the boxes are checked. He's kind of doing the same thing in the minor leagues so far too. So, so yeah, yeah. It, um, what one thing that I, I think I forget about is he missed all of 2022 and then only had 214 at bats in 2023. He's much bigger than I thought he was. He's six four two thirty five. It's huge. He's a big yeah. dude. Right. Ah, it, man, you know, he... The thing that's intriguing to me here is that, uh, you know, we there was a time, there was a time when Juan Soto was also considered an injury risk. And he's been a pretty full-time <laughs> player as a major leaguer after debuting at 19, you know. So maybe it was just an injury and, you know, he's ready to go now. Maybe he's finally got it rehabbed. I don't know. I'm not a lot to put a sock into concerns of whether a player is going to have injury issues or not. Sometimes that gets me in trouble, but I think it's pretty unpredictable. Yeah. The flip side of that is Eloy Jimenez. He was pretty healthy until suddenly he went into the major leagues. 
So it, so it, then he became that, an injury concern there. So I, I think that's completely different than uh, DeLocker. Um, right now we're dealing with a broken foot. Um, the injuries that concern me and, for lack of a better word, piss me off are the soft tissue uh, muscle injuries. When you have a constant hamstring, a constant calf, triceps, obliques, stuff like that. It, those are just massively frustrating because they they can be avoided. Yeah, you get a better strength and conditioning coach. Um, you, you start stress, stretching those muscles, working those mus muscles in a different way so you don't get those pulls, those strains. Um, broken legs, broken foot, torn ACLs, those are unavoidable. Uh, you, you can't do anything about those. You know, those just happen. Those are unlucky. The soft tissue stuff, man, it, with Eloy, that just drives me nuts. Yeah, I could see that. Well, anyway, my endorsement is probably – well, my endorsement is go get him. Chase DeLauder yes. is the guy you want. Yeah, and That's this is – and I'm probably going to have to whip up some trades after after this. <laughs> if we get the out here. Really, 